Hey, I'm Jack Miles from Arlington Heights, Illinois. I'm a freshman quarterback here at Ball State, and uh, you guys are guys for following me today. Let's get to it. Waking up in the morning is, I mean, it's tough, but you know, some days you get to sleep in more than others, and kind of take advantage of those days. And then waking up early is not that bad because you get so many naps in the day, or at least me and my roommate take a lot of naps. Usually just grab a muffin or something. Uh, you gotta grab our clothes. You got a loop. We got two loops. You just grab one and then grab your jersey. You get it washed every day. I need an air raid for this. I'm uh, <laughs> You should do it. I'm gonna be the next Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman? Surprised they haven't got a superstar yet. You gotta put your jersey on before. Just so. It's easier to get on, otherwise it's kind of a pain to get on. I watch like all the guys dance. There's a lot of dancing, a lot of music playing. And there's those four TVs, which is nice to have, just because you know you can kind of watch them. Being next to Ozzy is fun too, because he's, he's a good kid, so. I like that coffee scene mm-hmm. It's the best one. What? All right, ready? Can you go head out the Oh my god, I was... a little pinnacle, Oz. Yeah, I was mad. It's like a mic. Mike. Mike? Yeah, how does it go? It's right here. Are you mic'd up? Yeah. <laughs> like it? It's right there. Now I'm on the mic with you. <laughs> Hopefully you can hear me though. Oh, you can hear you. Go! I'm still learning, obviously. I'm still learning the offense, but I'm doing I think I'm doing pretty well. Coaches told me I'm doing pretty well picking it up, but I just gotta keep working and you know I've learned a new thing some new things with my feet and I'm not throwing that well right now because I think I'm a little indecisive but I think I'll get there. You done anything today or are you just on the gravy train? Just on the gravy train. <laughs> you don't need any more gravy. I've only got two reps today. <laughs> Busy day. On the day I'll get mic'd up, I ain't getting away. The most difficult thing is probably not being like the star that you are in high school and you just kinda sit there. I won't drop a ball all day. But watching uh, Keith play and stuff, you know, he does it right and you can learn a lot from that. Hey, why didn't Keith come here? They got hung up or something. Right, if he backs up, he'll never get out. Huh? You know what I mean? Yeah. We were running that play before you had hair on your chest. I just started getting it. We practiced one of the books for this morning at least. Uh, got meetings at 2.30, gonna go take a nap. We'll see ya. <laughs> Where are we going? Lunch? You think we're happy? I don't know, maybe burgers? Where's your vegetables? Where's your fruit? I go back to that. Where's your vegetables? Where are your fruit? <laughs> coach, coach, I don't like vegetables. I'm trying fruit not to gain weight. Not trying to from fruits and vegetables? <laughs> Just got done eating. Gonna go take a nap because we got a big break. And that's pretty much all I do every time we have a big break. Hi, Jack. What's up, Pete Town? <laughs> What's up? We'll see you at 2.30. So what we're going to talk about here is just a little bit about networking and professional dress and just interacting with people. The etiquette kinds of things and the professionalism and all the stuff that I'm talking about. It counts, it's the soft skills that we talked about earlier that those CEOs and executives consider to be so important. Let me just go over a couple things. Um, I'm still working on you two guys a little bit. In usual meetings we talk about like what the game plan is for the practice or like what routes we just put in or packages, formations, procedures. And it's good to have meetings because you know, you learn from your mistakes, you can see what other people are doing. Jack, anything you feel? You're doing good, cheers. Like, like I said, you're just playing. And, that, and don't lose that. Don't overthink it, don't lose it. I think that's a big reason why, you, you know, you, you just kind of let it roll off your back and play the next play, right? You know, he'll go out, you know, he might look the wrong way on a read or he might uh, ID a defense a little differently. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll correct it on the field and he kind of just gives me a little smile and he says, okay, next play, I'll get it. You just let it outrun you a little bit, Jack. You know what I'm saying? The pitch key like you're saying, Jack, he shows to you. What are you going to do with the ball? Pitch it. Pitch it and we'll score there, okay? 
Well, at first it was kind of overload, but I think I picked it up pretty quick. And he's, Coach Scrossi said I did, but I just went back to my room and I have like a whiteboard and I like kind of studied on that and that really helped me out. So, see you, bud. See you, Coach Scrossi. <laughs> just exit the meeting. Uh, gonna go back get something to eat. Just lay down for a few minutes while we got time. Dad, you can come. <laughs> and the main point of tonight is. Don't gross anybody out. That's the whole point of etiquette. You don't gross, gross people out and you make people feel comfortable. So your knife's gonna be at the top, blade facing in. If your blade faces out, it's considered rude. It was good. I learned how to eat professionally, I guess, and uh, what not to do during like a business dinner or so. We finished the first session, lunch and all that, and dinner, and now we got our second practice at like eight o'clock and we gotta be there like an hour early and then now we got a break. Oh, oh. all right. <laughs> that's, where, that's where it kinda ends and we can't get the ball back. Now Here, just let me shoot one. Ah, it's tough to make, you know. It was fun. It was, uh, it's a lot easier, I think, than practice because there's like a million people on the field during practice and the field seems like there's so many people out there and, you know, like in a game situation like that, the field seems so much like spread out and stuff and I don't know, I just feel a lot more comfortable doing that. I thought I did pretty well. Coach Scarcey said I did well, so. Scrimmage in the book, just going to go get a snack for, uh, you know, we always get one at late night. Just, you know, let's go. Miles. How you doing? How's it going? Go There's many more reasons. Thank you. Night snack is the best. It's just, it's great. I don't know why. It's just because you're hungry by the end and you never know what's going to be. It's kind of a surprise. Mustard from Chicago. All right, we're out of here. Two days are over with. Yep, two days are over with. Uh, tough day, you know, but not too bad. Pretty, pretty good overall, it's a usual day. Uh, I'll look forward to seeing you guys later. We'll see ya, thanks for tagging along.